right in the middle. Like okay, here's good. Sit here. Right, oh, exactly. Yeah. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, my name is Kat, Kat Brown, and I played Capri in Ninja Storm. My name is Katrina Devine, and I played Mara in Ninja Storm, and I played Cassidy Cornell in Dino Thunder. <laughs> Yes. We should get points for that. Yeah, for arriving on time. I can't stand I don't her. like her at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't like each other whatsoever. <laughs> you guys are late. <laughs> yeah, you guys are late. <laughs> it's because he's from Australia. Separable, even though we didn't want to be. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so hey, I'm Adam Tuminen, aka the Crimson Thunder Ranger, aka Hunter Bradley, come all the way from Australia. My beautiful wife who's just come with me, sit down there, Stephanie. Hi. Hey, Stephanie. Margita Vargas Jr., uh, Blake Bradley. Yay, Marty! Can I, can I just Stop say, I'd just like to say, um, Adam, on behalf of Katrina and I, we never knew how to pronounce your last name, so that's awesome. We just, we we just learned that now. So I dad, thought it was Tuminen. Dad's from Finland, came over to, went over to Australia when he was 10 years from, old. From so. Finland? From yeah. Finland. Finland, from shout Finland. out. Representing yeah. from Finland. Represent. <laughs> Okay, well, I'll, I'll start off, I guess. Because um, uh, Jorge and I played the bad guys, and obviously for the first three episodes, we weren't really involved. Uh, we were just in the, in the outskirts. He, we got a lot of time to, to meet each other and establish a relationship, which wasn't um, hard to do. I mean, it happened just like that. And it sort of translated on the series, I guess. If you saw, we did um, sort of fall into that brother's relationship fairly quickly. And... Um, and yeah, so for, for me and him, and for the other girls, like um, they, they were there the whole time, but we, everyone on the set had a great relationship. We all got along really well, but uh, I can't speak for them, but uh, as for me, in my way, I, I definitely we didn't like we didn't loved, like loved um, everyone on the set, and we all got along really well, which made it very easy to, to go out there for 15 hours a day and, and shoot a series. We have a no co uh, eye contact clause happening right now. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't look. Yeah, no eye contact. This is Jorjito Cruz. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, lots of love for everybody. It was, it was always good. Most of us actually were roommates at one time or the other with each other, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And Kat and I have the same name, so we got to sit. <laughs> And we knew each other in the industry, but um, hadn't worked together, had we? No. no. And they said, okay, we'll call you by your middle names because you're both Katrina. And, and so I said, oh, my, name's, my middle name's Marie. And she said, so no way, so is mine. <laughs> so we're both Katrina Marie. Yeah. So, um, oh, you guys have the same middle name. We have yeah, the we same, have same middle, middle name. name. I know. Hi, I'm Kat. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember? We, 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 we did we a show together. We spent a couple years together. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we get, we get on, like... Terribly. <laughs> <laughs> we get on brilliantly, actually. But she's, she's a cool girl. Oh, now I have to say so is she. <laughs> <laughs> she, no, she is. <laughs> but do you guys have any questions? Okay, we have the microphone next way. Because we have technology! Tech one, two, tech, 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 so tech one, better. two. <laughs> now I'm going to sing. I want to sing. Turn it on. <laughs> Testing. Testing. <laughs> oh, well, we'll be loud. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Awesome. Sorry. I, I tend to speak loud like that. So this question is... 
I'm asking for, I want to ask Katrina, Katrina De Devine. Get back a little bit. Oh, I want to ask Katrina Devine how it feels like to play two different characters in like two different seasons of Power Rangers, like between Mara and Cassidy, and how crazy is it that she gets to be one of the few actors that actually gets to do that kind of thing? Well, th thanks. It was so much fun. Um, when I did uh, Ninja Storm, um, apparently the, I, w I was a villain, but they thought I was pretty funny. I actually didn't intend to be funny, but, <laughs> but people laughed, so that was good. And then so they wrote the part of Cassidy for me, uh, which they made me audition for. And yeah, I know, right? So they told the casting agent that uh, they were looking for someone like Katrina Devine. So I went along and that's what the casting agent told me. We're looking for someone like Katrina Devine. And I thought, well, I better get this part because if I fail at being myself, then that's, that's not going to be very good. <laughs> but um, I, my favorite uh, character to play, though, was probably Mara, only because we got to, uh, imp well, probably because I got to work with her. Yeah. I just have to say that. Um, <laughs> no, but we got to improvise a lot. Like a mm. lot of the lines were, were just her and I playing off each other. Unscripted. Yeah. That probably Most came across. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. But it was great. Thank you. All Thank right. You. Let's see. Check one, two, uh, two, two, well, check one. First thing first. I just wanted to say that my Ninja Store was my, one of my dad's favorite seats. Seasons. He really enjoyed it, and he really enjoyed you, you, you two together, and he also enjoyed you and Cassidy and and Ma, Ma, and Ma, Ma, yeah. Thank, thank I, you. Well, here's a question, th question for the for, for the Thunder Rangers. Uh, with the with how the well, with how well the Boom Studios comments are doing, would you like to see a comment of, of you, but but kind of similar in the vein of Tommy Oliver, like have an evil evil the bad guy parts of you you that that decided never to turn. Good up. They, they actually have uh, one, I forget the number of the episode or wh which, which number it is, but they have the helmet of, of oh, yeah, uh, yeah. the Thunder helmet oh, and Tori's helmet on the ground. Yeah, I'm waiting to see my helmet. It's the Lord somewhere. Dracon uh, picture where he's got the throne and then all the helmets around. And I'm right up next to the uh, throne, which makes me feel like I was a lot harder <laughs> to defeat <laughs> than you reckon. <laughs> First of all, I want to thank you all for coming. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks for You're having us. We're glad to have the two cats here for the first time. Yay. Yeah, boom. And my, my question is, what was your favorite thing about being bad? Because all four of you got to be the bad guy for That's true. the boys for a little yeah. bit and the girls for a while. What was your favorite thing about being bad? My mm. favorite thing about playing any kind of a bad guy is you don't have to be the rule. You don't have to play by the rules. Well, you get to break the rules. I might, I might start with, I never thought the hunter was bad. I just thought that he was fighting for something he believed in, which was his parents. So I didn't see him as bad as an actor. I guess he was bad because he was taken on the good rangers, but he thought that they'd wronged him. So really, was he bad? Hmm? Yes. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I feel like I wasn't bad, I was just misunderstood. Yeah, <laughs> right, exactly. That's exactly what I mean. <laughs> story of my life. I don't know, and, and we were bad, but we were l laughably bad. Yeah. I mean, we got it wrong the whole time, um, and that was so much fun. We had so much fun. I tried to be good for a bit. Yeah. Tried. But that, wasn't that a didn't lie? Didn't work out didn't well, but I tried. One episode, okay, but still I tried. <laughs> All right, so I had a question from someone else in the audience. Um, stunt scenes, how much of the training of the action was you and how much was a stunt double? Well, well um, yeah, go. Koichi Sakamoto and the Amazing. all action oh, yeah. uh, stunt team that he formed, those guys are like, they're real ninjas. Those, they were really breaking bones on set. Yeah, uh -oh. like literally. Uh, literally. Yeah. literally. They're yeah, amazing. So, uh, those were real, real moves happening. Uh, they would let us do a lot. They would let us get in there and do a lot quite a bit. Oh, look who's... <laughs> Show it, yeah, it, it's sorry, really, guys. It's okay. Dino Thunder We're came so after sorry. Ninja Storm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we re we reunion together, don't we? <laughs> we just reunion in again. <laughs> We're, We're on the same clock. I'll time. finish off that question, though. I'll quickly what? finish off that question. Um, we actually did two weeks of training, martial arts training, bef 
when we first started the show. So we got graded on whether or not we could do the fight scenes and there was a few that we could do, but we never really got to do any of the wire work because they wrapped us up in cotton wool because if, if we got injured, then you know, production would stop. So I think the, the one injury that happened to an actor on our set was poor. He dislocated and his he arm, uh, mm. his shoulder in a fight scene doing a really innocuous block, but they got it on camera and it was quite, quite interesting to see because you actually see it go out and he just goes, oh, what? So yeah, they, they didn't let, let us do a lot of the really full on stunts, but we did do quite a bit of the civilian fight scenes, yeah. Okay. Um, I, would, I just want to add a little story. Katrina and I didn't do a lot of fighting and we were, way, we were pretty and stuff, but not so much from the fighting. But I did get injured on set, and I don't know if you guys remember, I was in a um, portaloo, like a, a portable toilet, and I had taken off my, you know, pants and all the layers of clothing, and I looked for the first time, have you ever noticed those little, that there was a little machine in the corner and I went and had a look. I went really close and I thought, what's that? And it squirted sanitizer into my <laughs> eyes. High grade sanitizer into my eyes. I, was, I, I literally had to stumble out of the portal loo, not really a lot of clothes on and have um, received medical attention um, because I got that. Just, so don't look at those things. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, ever. So uh, we had one question for Jeff in the audience, which was, what's it like being evil? It was really easy. <laughs> um, I don't know, if I had the choice to play good or evil characters, I, I don't know, evil characters are actually, they're easier to play, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, fun. It's so fun. Yeah. All right, so let's see, next question over here, gotta spread the love around. Hi. Hey, How you doing? Uh, since we have Rangers from both teams here, I was wondering if you guys could talk about what it was like filming the Team Up episodes. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, it was a lot right? of fun. Well, think about it. We, it was cool to, to, to be with these guys and shoot with these guys, but then we got another whole cool group to shoot with as well. That was even better. Yeah, yeah. It was, I just remember when they showed up, it was just really rad. We all had a good time. We all had a good time. Yeah. Everyone asks that question at um, conventions about which was your favorite team up, and it, it always, I always hear it's the Ninja Storm Dino than a team up, mm. you know? Yeah. And I don't know if you saw that morph that we all did together, but it was epic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Super epic. Oh, and it also has a legendary JDF. I still uh, remember how hot has the fireworks a, were. Certain somebody, a JDF. Oh, yeah. That always helps. That always helps, too. <laughs> was it fun doing it? It was awesome. Yeah, it was so fun. Was Dream so come fun. true. It was oh, the best. So let's make a, go on that. What was the most fun memory you have from your time on the show? Uh, for me, just being a part of the show. I mean, I grew up watching it as a kid. I had Green Ranger pajamas. I used to be late to school because the show ended right when school started, so I'd be running to school at the end of it. So for me, it, it was literally a dream come true because as a kid, I would tell people, yo, I'm going to be a Power Ranger when I grow up, and it literally happened. Oh, so, yeah. Nailed it. I, I reckon for me, the best part was where you put on the full Ranger outfit. And you look at yourself in that mirror and you go, damn, I'm a superhero. <laughs> that was cool. Uh, I, for me, I, the best part was working with cats. Sorry, we are. We had so much, and it's, I know, isn't that nice? Um, we had so much fun because our characters played so many, like we were what? Irish dancing champions, and we were the. Oh yeah, that was fun. Karaoke was hilarious. They singing the singing. Uh, and hippies. The hippies. The. I would like to say though that everything, and I. This is, has to come up now. Everything that had to happen that was bad, ketchup in the face, uh, <laughs> spiders on the body, uh, everything I did and somebody sitting next to me didn't do. So I'm still a little bit dark about that, but if you think back about it, uh, yeah. tell her the, st the story about the spiders. I know, but after, after you did all the things on Ninja Storm, because I didn't do them in Ninja Storm, they Maybe. made me do all of them in Dino Thunder and more. I was covered in everything. Everything you could cover Just a human it. being in, I was covered in. I actually had, um, we, when we faced our fears, and I had spiders crawling I mean, they, These were large spiders, the ones that they used in arachnophobia, and they're revolting. Now, I thought that Katrina had agreed to do it, and so I said yes. And then I rock up to sit and she's like, I didn't say yes to that. So mm -hmm. it was, on me. <laughs> so it was just me. Even my makeup artist didn't want to be in the room. It was horrific. Yeah. Oh, yes. so. okay. Next question from the audience. It was, if you could have a different color or even have a color in first place, which one would you want? 
Well, I've got a funny story about that. Uh, when I first auditioned for Ninja Storm, I was actually cast as Dustin. So I was cast as the Yellow Ranger. But at the time, my agent said, no, 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 no. And I was like, well, I'd love to do this. So then I got cast because they cast someone else and recast it. So I think if I was going to do it, I'd, I'd like to be a Yellow Ranger. I'd go with a chrome. 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 Like a chrome. Yeah. Chrome Ranger. <laughs> gold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah gold. I want to be pink. <laughs> um, I think it would be cool to be white to get to play evil to be honest yeah, so, yeah that would be my yeah. choice evil yeah. pink ring it's yeah. a pretty cool helmet <laughs> yeah I love my helmet you know what in all honesty I always I, I really like the name of your show I would have loved to have been on uh, Ninja Storm um, that or RPM there's something I, lo- I love those guys too yeah, yeah. and it was like a, it was like an Post-apocalyptic, apocalyptic yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it just and they all had these cool like cars what color would you uh, you, you could have put me in any color, I would have been happy. <laughs> <laughs> that goes for Ninja Storm, too. Uh, yeah. Jeff looks good in any color. I lo- <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. <laughs> I want to be silver or gold. Sure. Yeah, me too. Yeah? Same. That would be cool, yeah. Definitely, silver or gold. All right. Any more questions from the audience? Or I'll make some up over here. All right. All right. I'll make it quick. Uh, the question is for Trent. Uh, yes. If... <laughs> Do you wish they, they could have like followed more of the Sentai where you, you actually remained evil until near the end and then you sacrificed <sighs> yourself to, self to the, save the earth? You know, that is a good question. Um, I love that question. I would have loved for them to keep me evil longer. I remember um, Doug Sloan, our producer, was trying to get them to do that, but Disney wasn't... The Sentai version was really dark. <laughs> if you remember, like my character bleeds out at the end. <laughs> it was so epic. I, I loved playing my part, but I can't compete with what he did yeah. on that show because they got to do so much fun things, you know? Yeah. I think I answered your question, right? I did? Right. Yeah, okay. Uh, uh, hi again. I want to ask another question. This time it's mainly to Kevin because he was the only one in that episode. What was it like with Lost and Found in translation? Like... <laughs> I know it was made because of this whole Japan thing that the network was trying to promote, but what was it like making that episode? How, how different things would have been had that episode actually been adapted into a straightforward Power Rangers episode rather than just being a comparison between the Sentai and the Power Rangers, like a comparison between Japan and America? Um, I thought that episode was really cool because I actually learned a lot watching it. I didn't know that the uh, the counterpart was so dark, and it was really cool. Um, I enjoyed it, you know. It was dark, but also really silly. Yeah, it was. It was fun. I had a lot of fun doing it. Um, we got to watch like two episodes while we were doing it. So yeah, I had a blast. All right. Uh, our next question is again for Jeff. Jeff's popular today. Okay. Uh, apparently, you weren't told you were white at first. No. H- explain. They wanted me to be a purple ranger. Um, lavender, and I was like, lavender. I, that's lavender. like the one lavender. color I don't look good in. And s- then they gave me white. That's a true story. Um, no, um, I didn't. I didn't know. I I got. I auditioned for for Trent. Trent Hernandez actually is how it started. Um, and then after my first week there, they told me that I was going to be the White Ranger, and I couldn't. They had to film all my stuff inside for the first part because they, they, they didn't want leaks at the time. Imagine now do having to do that. That would be so hard to do. Yeah. Um, it was actually a cakewalk to do that back then. Yeah, it was actually the same for me. I didn't know I was going to be blue until I got there. All right, next question. Um, so uh, Dino Thunder was pretty cool in that, like, Jason David Frank actually came back to do it. I don't know if you ever watched... Um, you know, when you were younger, when you watched Mighty Morphin, what was it like to see, to hear that he was coming back and you were actually going to get to be a ranger with him on the same team? I was so giddy. <laughs> <laughs> I think I grabbed him and like shook him and I was like, oh my goodness. He did. Um, he really did. I, I was super excited. And I had, the funny thing is, I didn't know he was going to be in our season. Yeah, so I got to New Zealand and it was our very first table read. We were going to read through the first script and I saw him and I was like, No. <laughs> Tell and me. so I, I ran up to him and I was like, oh my God, dude, like I had your pajamas when I was a kid. Like I had green. <laughs> this is so cool for me. And he just looks at me and he's like, yeah, thanks for making me feel old. 
So, so that was I, literally our first conversation. Yeah, I was lucky. I just missed Mighty Morphin. Um, and then I met Jason. So to me, I just met this guy named Jason who was really cool, you know? If I had known the history of Tommy Oliver at the time, I would have panicked because our characters have this similar trajectory. I would have not wanted to follow in his footsteps if I knew back then. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And look, everyone, there's Dr. O invisible right over there at the end. Yay. <laughs> Actually, for real though, next question. Okay, so my question is, uh, what was your favorite episode for each of you that, uh, when you were recording it? Uh, for you know me, what? it was Game On, where I get stuck in the video game, just because I myself am a gamer, and um, I really enjoyed Bully for Ethan a lot, too. Uh, mine is, uh, I think it's called Leave it to Beevil, where um, Mara was... Uh, dreamt that she was a ranger and she was uh, tricking Dustin into thinking that she was nice and then right at the end she turned back into Mara, which I thought was really sad actually. <laughs> um, I really enjoyed, and I can't remember the name of it but I'm sure you guys will, the episode where we were hippies. I love Lothor, what a great, that was so much fun that episode, I had a blast on yeah, that, that was loads great. of fun. Um, mine would be pork chopped. I think oh, yeah. that's the that's best. Yeah. I, I think we had the Is most the fun on box? that. That's the popcorn oh. what box, oh, and yeah. I also hid like little Easter eggs in there. Uh, if you go back and rewatch it, when Tori's uh, ordering popcorn, mm. off you, uh, I'm in the background. Yeah, I'm in the background <laughs> doing um, She's so awesome. doing the, the karate kid, the karate yeah. kid kick, uh, the swan kick, and I'm like, I don't know if they're gonna let that Someone slide. Someone's yeah. gonna come back and say you can't do that, but. It happened. It, it happened and it, it went in there and it's one of my favorite. And also that, that episode, uh, all the stunt, stunnies got to dress up as some 70s funk, uh, oh, yeah. kung fu fighters. And we just had a blast, everybody went there, they're all dressed up like that. I, I think Pork Chop would be my favorite. Um, uh, my favorite is only because of one, well, really one scene, but it's the boxing boparoo where uh, Pura and I are challenging each other as who should be the Red Ranger. That scene where we fought on the beach, we did most of that, the two of us, and that, that morning, just shooting that fight scene was incredible. Um, both of us got to do most of it, and uh, yeah, we had a lot of fun shooting it down there. I loved burning at both ends. Um, it was just where I got to play around with the other rangers, and it was, it was nice. <laughs> yeah. All right, next question. Hey there, guys. Um, this question's uh, for Adam. Mm -hmm. That episode where you guys did the talent show, do you still remember <laughs> your rap? I do. <laughs> Could you, you perform? He actually <laughs> does because I heard him doing it last night. You're gonna, you gonna scratch, you gonna scratch the decks for me, man? Um, <laughs> okay. You, okay. Oh, uh, you go. I gotta find the record. Me on more hunter, that big brother of the flake. We may not look alike, but make no mistake. Be spins and scratches for my lyricals matches. My wicked rhyming technique is hardly tongue in cheek. We make all of the rappers look like twenties flappers. With the motos, bros, we take no prisoners. With the moto bros, we got a million listeners. With the moto bros, and you can be one too. All you gotta do is. Is Moto Kung Fu. <laughs> Yay. Boop, boop, boop. I would drop this mic, but then they would be yell at me. Okay. So, all right. Next one we had over here before we get back to the audience ones was ADR going in the booth and recording all those uh, all those uh, grunts and screams. Uh, all right. Uh, Hilarious. Uh, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure one day I walked in on Glenn doing it and he'd taken most of his clothes off and he was sweating in there like, doing the actual moves. You're not lying. It was so hot in there, man. Yeah, so hot. It did get hot, but so so you know it's. Um... I wore pajamas. <laughs> you wore pajamas. Yeah. Okay. No, really. They, they used to do it. They used to do it in sections. But I said to him, you know what? Play the thing, and I'll do it to the recording rather than just following little bits and pieces. I'd say, play the whole thing, and I'll actually do it while the video's rolling. And and I would just do it while it was rolling. And more often than not, you you start to do it physically in there. And yeah, yeah it was a lot of fun to be honest. I had a whole episode which was when I was taking everyone on by myself, taking on all the other um, rangers, especially even him. And I was, I did five hours in one day of ADR. But you, oh, you just crazy. glazed over Glenn with his clothes off yeah, 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 in yeah, the yeah, studio, no. did anyone? Yeah, no, I'm I'm that's where I am. We should have five more questions regarding that statement. 
All right, uh, next. My question is for Hunter. Uh, if you didn't know, in your Japanese counterpart, he had a scorpion inside of him, and he was about to die. Did you actually knew that? And did they plan it ahead? So he had a or scorpion? You, yeah, like, like uh, Motor Jones counterpart? Yeah, yeah, Motor Jones, yeah. He, he freaking did a move and punched it in your counterpart and got a so scorpion cool. inside of him. Yeah, right. So that's, that did happen to me, but that, that was when they drained the, the, the power out of me. Yeah, Cam came in and then did his move and like got out the scorpion. P yeah, but, yeah. but in the Sentai, Ishii, or your counterpart, he had the scorpion still inside of him. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, maybe it is in there. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, one, one quick reminder for most, the most people is the majority of the casts up until Samurai weren't given a lot of access to the Sentai. So most of them aren't going to be able to answer lots of questions about what happened to Japanese counterparts. They didn't watch much of it. Yeah. It wasn't until Samurai that, that was, it became a tradition for having them start watching the Japanese version. Yeah, we would have loved to have had that opportunity. Yeah, to be yeah honest, that would have been great. When I came yeah. out and learned about the Sentai side of it, um, you know, I was really uh, a little bit bummed out that we didn't get to, to see that sort of stuff and, and get that, that backstory and that, the Japanese original. Yeah. Koichi uh, did have, he would have a few episodes of the original Japanese and he would take us in the office and be like, That was okay, back when we still had VHS. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We shot on a film. <laughs> yeah. like, Hello. So both Dino Thunder and Instorm had some amazing motorcycle scenes into it. Did you ever have a chance to actually drive the motorcycles at any time? Well, it, when we first started, they actually gave us kind of a, a, a test to see how good we were at riding. And there's this one story that we have that they put us on the bikes. And he's like, OK, I want you to go do a figure eight and come back, and break. I wanted to see how you do. Started up the bike. We're on this beautiful beach in New Zealand, in Auckland and started it up, started to go, and something could, took me over, and just, I opened it up, it and Navy I, just, <laughs> I just lost my mind. The next thing I know, I'm crying, I'm screaming, I'm, I'm matching the speed with the waves. It's just so beautiful. I was just like, I, I, I couldn't stop. And then eventually, I found my way back. You know, we were all sitting there going, where's he gone? Where's he gone? <laughs> He's not here. And it took a while to get back to yeah, yeah. So. That's probably a good one. <laughs> uh, Ethan was supposed to ride a motorcycle in the show. I don't know if I actually rode it, though, on camera, but for two months before we started filming, I'd have to have lessons for at least an hour a day. Um, and they'd always tell me to wear a helmet, but I would always just jump on the bike and take off and make production just chase me around the set while I was just on the motorcycle. I was bad. I used to actually <laughs> take your bike, too, on our breaks. <laughs> It was well, so fun. Doug was a big fan of motocross, yeah. so he was a huge fan. So I think the producer always found a way to kind of like incorporate it a, 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 a lot. Yeah, sometimes when we would be on the bike and then we'd have to make out like we took off, the bike wouldn't be on, but we'd have to act like the bike was on and then, and then, and then we'd push off and just, <laughs> the bike wasn't on, but we'd sort of just go out of camera and they'd make it look like we were riding the bike. So now we weren't allowed to ride them on camera, but as Jorge said, we did have a bit of training um, down on the beach, which was amazing. Next question. My question is for Hunter and Blake. <laughs> what was it like to go down to the bisque of evil to get the power coins in the Samurai Morpher then to join the other um, Rangers, Rangers yeah. on Power Rangers Dino Thunder? Well, when we, when we abseiled down into the abyss, that was cool. Uh, I, actually, I actually really enjoyed the fight scene we had down there as well. You know how we, we saw all the, um, all the monsters down there and um, we got to abseil down and then we had this massive fight scene. That was one of my favourite fight scenes that we did with, the, with these guys on Dino Thunder. So I really enjoyed that side of it because we had that story where we had to go down and, and, and try and save, save everyone because the other guys were being bad. You know, I, uh, the, even also in the best, the way they shot it and how, like, that, that's the one thing, well, all the locations that they have, I mean, these the Kiwis, they, they live there, so I mean, they, they, they saw the places. Every location we shot was, was beautiful. Incredible. Yeah, like, they, that one scene of the two of us walking off on the beach, it was a little Lord of the Rings yeah. type of action happening. Thanks for the question. Whoa. Yeah. Right, next question. 
Okay, so uh, my question is directed to Kevin, and AKA the Blue Dino Planet Ranger here. Now, I know for a fact, whenever there's film, you're, whenever you film, whenever you film a season, there's usually something cool that happens on set. So my question to you, Kevin, is what you say is the funniest thing you've seen when you were on set? Um, one of the funniest things I've seen on set. Um, Jason played a lot of pranks, so I'm gonna have to say it was probably one of his pranks or one of the pranks that I played on Jeff, I think was really good, but that wasn't really on set, so. He never did that, he never did that. <laughs> the, first, Not true. the first few months we started filming, he wasn't in the show, so he was basically in New Zealand on vacation, and I was getting up every day going to work, so I was jealous, I'm not gonna lie. So one day I called him at four in the morning and I was like, hey, we're downstairs in the van, like you work today where are you we're waiting and he was like i don't work today i could hear that he just woke up so he's panicking and i can hear he's ruffling for clothes and i'm like dude hurry up like we've been waiting like we gotta go so then i hang up the phone and i'm we're already on our way to work at this point so he calls me back and he's like i'm downstairs no one's here and i was like yeah you don't work today <laughs> yeah real funny guys <laughs> really enjoy it <laughs> that was sneaky he was sneaky all I right. fell for it. Next question. Hey guys, um, this is for yes. the Katrinas. How was it like to be the minions of the season? <laughs> the minions. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Hey, <laughs> okay, minion Banana. one. How was it? <laughs> Banana. How, how was that? It was good. We were comic relief, I feel, more than anything else. So after a bit of seriousness, we were... You know, something to laugh at. <laughs> we were. We actually came up with this word, which we said a lot. We we said cha 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 the whole time, and so then they actually scripted that in. And they it's spelled T C H A. In case you're wondering. Yeah. But, um, well, we got to make up our own language. Yeah. It was great. <laughs> it was a blast. We had the best time. All right. I'm gonna throw a question at you guys while I'm searching here. Of the random crazy monsters you had, what monster sticks in your mind as the coolest? Chubo. <laughs> <laughs> that was scary. <laughs> that was a butt. <laughs> yeah. I voiced one of the, the monsters. Ooh. Ooh. Cool. Anyone Describe remember it. the name? Who? Remember the name. What did he do? Who did you say? Yeah, I did, I did one of the monsters. You voiced a monster? Yeah, you voiced a monster. Yeah. There you Who was it? Thank you. Ding, ding, ding for 200. What was it? What was it? Sorry? Starvark. Oh. When did you voice him? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't In our season. Right. Yes. Yeah. I don't know, but my favorite monster was just one big massive tongue that would turn us into uh, oh, that's stabs. Nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that guy. Yeah. One big massive tongue. Oh, my character had a big long tongue that she could like catch things with. Did you guys ever see that? I never saw that, that at all. No, it totally Does that, happened. Does that count? Yeah, Actually, no, I'm not it. making it up. I didn't dream it. I take that back. My favorite monsters were Mara and Capri. Thank <laughs> you. That's what we were yeah, waiting for. Absolutely. <laughs> Go for it. Go, Kev. Kevin's got a really great answer here. <laughs> yeah. uh, my favorite is probably uh, Zeltrex and uh, Megazo Mesogog. Mesogog. Yeah. Ooh. Latham is just amazing. Oh, yeah. I loved working with Latham. Yeah, Me Mesogog, definitely, for me. All right. Next question. What's up, guys? What's, what's up? up? Hi. Uh, Over there. Hey. Hey, what's up? Uh, Kira and Toy were offered to do the Operation Overdrive episode. If any of you guys were offered to do it, would you be in the cast of that? So the Operation Overdrive episode uh, re reunion, is... Reunion episode. Reunite? Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, no worries. Yeah. Hunt would be back. Yes. Okay. We'd all be back. We so would be. Yeah. <laughs> we're just waiting for the invite. Anyone else? Yeah. Once a ranger, always a ranger. <laughs> yeah, once a ranger, right. always a ranger. All right. Big, big space ninja. I think here's our next question. Uh, hi. Um, I wanted to know uh, if you could make the decision. This will be easy for two of you, um, but if you could make any character that wasn't a ranger, a ranger, which one would it be? If so make a, a, one of the ever characters in your season who wasn't a ranger, one supporting cast, which one would you want it to be? <laughs> Mara and Capri. They should have been rangers. Yeah. I, think yeah. that, I think that answered that question. Katrina, yeah. purple Katrina. ranger. Yeah, I think All right. Pink Both ranger should have been rangers. All right. Yeah, I think Us. the two would have been really cool. Parker I think uh, Graham McFarlane would have made a pretty good uh, <laughs> <laughs> Local. Local. 
Perfect. But in yeah. guinea pig version? Hi. Um, Hello. My question is for all of you. Um, it's, what do you think your characters would be doing today? Oh, yeah, I actually got asked that question in the last hour. I reckon Hunter would be an MMA fighter in the cage. Nice. I feel like Kevin's character, because he's like a multi-billionaire in the software, would oh, yeah. probably I feel be like producing I work for Apple one of my now. art shows. Ethan definitely works for Apple. No, you would have... <laughs> you wouldn't be working... You would be Apple's competition. You would be like... Ethan. <laughs> That's it. You know. Blake would be making things up to Tori. <laughs> still, still. Still. I think we might have a comedy show like way off off Broadway yeah. or, or a musical or something. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. That sounds about right. <laughs> All right. How much of your own merchandise do you own? Oh, wow, it's funny. Uh, I've got one merchandise? toy. Merchandise? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, um, yeah I might have forgotten to give back everybody's morphers. <laughs> <laughs> By mistake on purpose. I didn't hear anything. <laughs> Could have happened. <laughs> I borrowed my suit. Oh, you borrowed. You got I borrowed suit. it. Awesome. Awesome. I, wish um, I, I tried to return it, stuff. but I yeah. couldn't. I, I forgot to borrow things. things. Yeah. I borrowed it. I tried. They wouldn't me, let me. Yeah, me and Jason borrowed I, together. I had to buy my own toy on, on eBay. Are you serious? <laughs> I've still got it in the box, and I've had it for what tw- uh, for 14 years. So I bought that off eBay for, for $65 um, back in 2004. Oh, that's cute. Well done. <laughs> they didn't give me one. <laughs> I have a nine-year-old boy, Sebastian, over there, and I had Hi, like he's that age now where I'm like, okay, I got these toys. And they're trying to trying to track him down now. I wish I held on to them now. Mm. So no, not much. Yeah. <laughs> sure, what do you wish you could have kept from the set? A full suit and helmet. Yeah, 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 full, yeah my full absolutely. suit. Absolutely. I'd want a, a monster suit. Would be pretty. Also, cool, for too. some reason, I want a triptoid suit. I don't know yeah. why. Cool. The trip toys were awesome. Yeah. Or the uh, glider cycle as well, yeah. I, I, because I borrowed my suit, I wish that I was able to keep the armor. That had the official armor to go with it all. Cool. 3D printing. Yeah. <laughs> it's not the same. <laughs> all right. And next, okay. Uh, next one over here, while I go over. Oh, one more person hasn't. While well, I'm asking, how was your longest day on set? How long was the longest day? They were pretty long. long in the beginning. If you, have, if you had like the first, if you were first up mm. and we were shooting on a far location, mm. there was a slight chance that you may have to wait for the ride home. So those, those would probably be a bit long. I mean, sometimes we're like a 12 hour minimum, sometimes 15. Yeah, 15, 16 hours and with a breaking turnaround. But they're pretty Loads good with organizing the it and we shooting probably, us yeah. out. Yeah, I did a long day on Google Hunter because I was working with a little kid and by the end of the day he got really, really tired so the, the lines weren't coming out right and we kept t- retaking and retaking. I think that day was about 16 hours. Yeah. Yeah. No complaints though. No, there I was know. also a lot of trailer time too and a lot of downtime so don't feel bad for us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Next question. This one's for my girls. <laughs> Hello. Um, so my question is, as Mara and Capri, what are your most memorable or favorite bloopers on set oh in your costume? Oh my goodness, the majority of our shooting was bloopers. <laughs> and they just put them in there anyway. Pretty much. Wow. <laughs> and costume things, oh my goodness. My headpiece was so heavy and horrendous and I wanted to take it off all the time. And then, But you have to put it on really precise. So it was always in all different angles and oh we were we were literally one big fat joke the entire time we really really were i don't think did you guys take us seriously never no so no one took us seriously <laughs> we didn't even take ourselves seriously right exactly absolutely no. i mean they were good though they're memorable costumes but yeah difficult to wear <laughs> But they your were. headdresses were pretty badass. They, they were, I know, my headdress was totally badass. Yeah, but mine weighed like 40 pounds. <laughs> and I had to wear it all day long. I think I would have rather wore spandex, to be honest. Strong neck muscles, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Any more questions? Cricket, cricket. Mm. <laughs> Blonde or brunette? Um, uh, I was blonde for ages, but I'm obviously, my eyebrows, I'm naturally a brunette, so um, brunette. Mm-hmm. All right, next question. 
Shane. Hello. Hello. Hey. Hi. Um, Hi. It's for Trent. Um, I know that um, Jason David Frank wasn't able to come in that crossover with SPD. Yes. And I know you were re replacing him for a little bit. How did it feel to um, do replacing that? Replacing him? Well, like, did that one episode? I think they're recording here. Let's get this story right. <laughs> um, yeah. Are you talking about when I voiced this character? Yeah. 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 Um, what was the question? How'd you it do was, it? Yeah, no, you know what? We were doing the table read, and the season before, when Jason had to go back to L.A. for a little while, at the table reads, I would just be reading his character. Um, so when we went back to do the team-up with SPD, they asked me if I wanted to do it, because I was just reading for him at the table read again, and it was just all fun. And they just asked me to read, and since I only worked for, like, one day that team-up, <laughs> I was like, why not? Let's do this, you know? It'll be fun. I wouldn't want anyone else doing his voice anyways. You know, I love him too much to let that happen. Mm -hmm. um, Jason, I hope you watch this. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, man. All right. We're approaching the end now, so really fast questions. So hands up, anyone left? It's a speed oh, round, speed everyone. Round. It's a speed I'm, round. I'm people who haven't asked questions yet. Priority. Yep. Actually, line up here. Make it easier for me, guys. <laughs> Can you guys do your more for us? Oh, I'm calling no. guys. Yeah, at the end, it's for purpose. All of us together. We'll, just sit back and watch. we'll do the. Do the yeah. yeah. Uh, All right. We can do that. Uh, All right. Yeah. Next question. I would like to know how many of the lines between Mar and Capri were ad libbed throughout the. That's All of them. <laughs> pretty, much, pretty much after the first couple of episodes, just you girls just say something, do whatever you want. Yeah. We, we wrote, a, we did a lot, a lot of our own stuff. All right. Yeah. They didn't bother scripting anymore. They didn't actually. <laughs> it just said Mara and Capri enter, and then we were just. Going <laughs> and then there. do whatever you do, and then scene over. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Hey there. Hey. Well, I noticed that a lot of you guys have really beautiful accents. Was it very difficult to turn that off and play the American part? Um, well, no, because I, I, I went to drama school for three years before I, I did Power Rangers, so we we learned how to do accents there, but. You know, I, I grew up with American pop culture, so uh, even to get into the school that I, I the drama school I went to, I, I did a, um, a monologue from Good Will Hunting. You know, I did one from Pulp Fiction. So I, I got the American accent down pretty pretty quickly while I was a kid because I'd recite movies, American movies all the time. So it was fairly easy for me to to switch. And for me, I um, used to be the queen of the Amazons in Hercules and Xena. So I'd done mostly, all my work had mostly been American, so I'd had, yeah, loads of time in the accent. Young Hercules. I was the Queen of the Amazons, and who said that? Yeah, Young Hercules. Young Hercules, Ooh. Hercules and Xena, warrior princess. Young Hercules when I was with Ryan Gosling. Mm, Ryan Gosling, yeah. <laughs> we, we, uh, we kissed. We yeah. kissed. Like, I mean, it was on set and I was paid for it, but still, we have like that. He was amazing. Ryan Gosling was a very, very cool guy. He was straight out of Mickey Mouse Clubhouse when I met him. Uh, he was 18 and he was clearly gifted and talented and generous and really funny and very cute too. And you kissed him. And I kissed him. <laughs> More than once. All right, so we're about out of time because things got too late to start today. So before we wrap things up, I think someone wants photos. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always the guy with the camera, so I'm never in photos. He doesn't even know how to use it. Just press the I, red button, Kevin. I can, but it's not, it's not oh, focused. Come on, right. Ethan James. The phone's not even on. Oh, there we go. Our guests, everyone. That's a good one. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Thank you. Hey, guys. We really appreciate you being here because, in all honesty, we probably wouldn't be here without all your support. Yes. Exactly. So, thank you guys. Thank you. Thank I think for so this much. weekend, yeah. every single one of you is my hero. And uh, thank you guys. Yeah. Buy photo ops. <laughs> yes. <laughs> or just come and give us, give Kevin a hug. He loves hugs. Aww. This is true. Hit C. I'm not lying. Right. I'm not playing. All right. So someone asked for a morph. Yep. Morph away. Yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> Um, yeah, over here, yeah, there's more space here. They can't see. Is he, is he, is he, is he, or you do it here and everyone moves your camera over here. Yeah, come on, guys. Yeah, move over, guys. Hurry, hurry. I need to organize this stuff better next time. 
<laughs> oh my God. I love you guys. This is the best convention ever, and you guys are all amazing. <laughs> So, big question I had, is the ha actually written in the script? I don't even know how to get it. <laughs> I've always wanted to know. <laughs> All right. Is ha written in the script? Oh, okay. Oh. All right. It's my ad lib. <laughs> All right. Thank you, everyone. Give a big round of applause one last time for our guests.